Hi and welcome to this University of California wide introduction to computational social science. I'm very excited uh, about this course uh, for two reasons. First, uh, computational social science is a really new field. So I myself and we all are uh, just learning about it. it. It wasn't even around when I went to school or to college. So on the go, we are all learning together. And second, knowing about the, that we're all learning together what we did with this course with help of the University of California Office of the President is we went to all 10 UC campuses and we got input and lectures from leading experts that the University of California has from all these 10 campuses. So we all, I, I, I'm learning a lot and I've learned a lot doing this and we are all learning from each other and I'm very happy to have you on board as well because in this very new and exciting field, uh, we're all learning together. Hi, so I'm Joshua Blumenstock, assistant professor at the University of California, Berkeley. And today I'm going to talk about this area of research that I'm involved in, um, which I call data intensive international development. But uh, for the purposes of this talk, I'll say fighting poverty with data. Uh, so let me begin by saying I work in artificial intelligence, uh, which is a discipline that studies how to make computers behave intelligently. Uh, make smart decisions to learn from their experience and so on. My name is Seth Fry. I'm a professor at UC Davis in the Department of Communication. My training is in a mix of cognitive science and computational social science, and we're going to be talking about when to take risks. Hi, I'm Cindy Gates. I'm the director of the IRB at UC Davis, and I'm going to talk about ethics with research involving human subjects. Hi, my name is Lisa Pearl, and I'm an associate professor at UC Irvine in the departments of linguistics and cognitive sciences, and I run the Computation of Language Laboratory. And one of the things we really like to do is use computational modeling to understand language acquisition. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. Hi, my name is Inez Levin. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Political Science at UCI. Today, I will be talking about using machine learning algorithms to detect electoral fraud. My name is PJ Lamberson and I'm a professor of communication at the University of California, Los Angeles. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some research that's related to a lot of work that I do. One of the big things that I study is how things spread from person to person. So this could be rumors or information or products or behaviors. Hello, I'm Paul Smalvino. I'm an assistant professor of cognitive and information sciences at UC Merced. And we're going to talk today about uh, modeling. Uh, agent-based modeling a little bit, but modeling more generally. Hi, I'm Christian Shelton. I'm a professor at UC Riverside. Uh, I work in artificial intelligence and specifically machine learning. And right now I'd like to talk a little bit about um, artificial intelligence, a little about the history, what it is, and maybe give some examples of, of the types of problems people in artificial intelligence work on or think about. Hi, my name is Dina Plemons. I'm the director of the Research Ethics Education Program at UC Riverside. And we're going to talk today about what research ethics is and why the consideration of ethical issues in research and scholarship is essential to conducting good research. Today I'm here in this beautiful white hill and forest mixed campus of the University of California in Santa Cruz, UCSC, together with one of the pioneers of natural language processing and dialogue systems, Professor Marilyn Walker. Hello, my name is Rene Weber. I'm a full professor here at UC Santa Barbara. Um, I'm the director of the Media and Neuroscience Lab at UC Santa Barbara. And part of our research in our lab is about narratives and persuasive messages. Um, my name is James Fowler and I study social networks. Hi, I'm Maria Gleemor and I'm a social epidemiologist and the program director for the PhD program in epidemiology and translational science uh, here at UCSF. What I can promise you in this course is that it is an introduction to the scientific method. We will study ways of how we can create knowledge, how we can systematically create new knowledge, so uh, the scientific method uh, basically. Uh, and I can promise you that it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, doing that and it's going to be very cool because we have very new cutting-edge technologies and third of all it's going to be extremely relevant. 